all mothers and all women are strong. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's, it's a perfect, it's just perfect. Change is coming, mm -hmm. definitely. Change is ahead of us. There are several factors that, that, that appealed to me about the, the film. One, one of the factors, it was uh, bilingual, I, I found that really interesting, and, and uh, the fact that we were going to film in, in, in Mexico. Uh, I, I, I love the fact that Lorena had written and, and was directing, I love that very much. But at the end of the day, the character has to work for me. And I can't, I can't do roles unless they're complex, I just can't. It's, uh, I, I'm embarrassed by it, I can't do them. I feel very foolish. But when it's a fully fledged character with all, all, all of the shades of light and gray and the good and bad that exist in all of us, then I can do that, I can do that comfortably. And this had all of those. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful and it was sad and it was happy and uh, it was a journey. Well, um, I think that it's important to not only make stories about uh, strong women, but also um, to to how do you say see what's happening right now and uh, the pathway that's being open to more women uh, filmmakers to to do their their work no and do their movies and do filmmaking. Um, it doesn't specifically have to be a story about a woman, but in this case, I love women and I love the stories of strong women, you know. And in this case, it's a strong mother, and and a, and, uh, and and she has the, the the things that she has to go through in order to save her son, and there's no limit to what she would do. I think it's it's really powerful. Yeah, and and and, and at the end of the day, all mothers and all women are strong. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's, it's a perfect, it's just perfect, change is coming, mm -hmm. definitely, change is ahead of us. i would not known Melina, she's a terrific woman, but also a very fine actress. We, we worked together a lot and uh, we, we found that we were able to improvise to make things work, you know, with Lorena's approval. And we did! Uh, so that was a joy. Lorena is a bit of a... a a bit of a national treasure, I think, potentially coming up because she wrote and directed this, and I see this as the beginning of of, of much more uh, for Lorena, should she wish to do it. As uh, working with this, she's just just a delight, as were her family and everyone else we met there. Were so kind, and and they listened to 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 us. They listened, and if we had ideas, then they would take them on board. This is the sign of a, of a very good leader who listens, and she had that. So I was lucky. It was amazing. I uh, this is my first role actually where I was where I could uh, mm, speak both languages. And um, the thing is, because I'm Spanish and I speak with a Spanish accent normally, the it was a challenge for me to adapt and to do a Mexican neutral accent. So that was my definitely my biggest challenge. And I was really scared actually before coming to Mexico. I was really really scared mm -hmm. that, it, that I was going to be like a laughing stock because no one was going to believe that I could. Um, that, I, that, that I, this character actually lived in, in Mexico. But, mm. yeah, no, you thanks to... No, Melina has an incredible <laughs> ability with languages. I mean, it's impressive, really. She didn't even need a coach. Um, she would listen to us, you know, and the crew. It's like and, we produce and, <laughs> and try to th th get the words, you know, the local words and, uh, and, and how to phrase some things. And, and we, would, we would be there, you know, by her side telling them, oh, well, maybe... Yeah. Tune this or tune yeah, that. Yeah. You the, know? The, the, we're, there's, we're shooting at nights. I mean, where you obviously are a bit more tired. Mm -hmm. um, I suddenly, I, I automatically switched to Spanish um, at night, mm -hmm. and yeah, you were like, "Melina, you're talking in Spanish." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was. Yeah, I was definitely because when you get tired, you obviously you, just, you stop. You start flowering and, and going and going back to your natural accent. But it comes very but natural to her. I mean, well. she, she speaks both. Uh, your your father is uh, British, in, yeah. British, and uh, and you live in Spain, so she has, she lives with both languages. It was just a matter of the accent and no, the, yeah. and the, for the Mexican accent. <laughs> mm, uh, no, I, I wouldn't, uh, and I say that because I don't. If it's that powerful, if if, if something, anything is that powerful, then it's very dangerous. And I don't think any of us should be trusted with it, honestly. Um, I don't know what you'd do with it, really. Because we can't be trusted with power. I couldn't be as much as I think I could be. 
I wouldn't give it to the government because they can't be trusted with power. I couldn't give it to the church because they... Whatever. I don't know what I'd do with it. Bury it somewhere, probably. <laughs> Send it off into space. I'd like it, though, but I don't trust myself with it. I would destroy the stone. <laughs> that doesn't mean it happens in the, <laughs> in the film. It, um, yeah, I mean, it keeps you guessing what would you do, no? And, uh, and uh, the intention here w was... Um, to, to convey that there's implications to every decision that you make. No? So if, if you decide to use it, there are terrible consequences and you n don't know um, how it will have an impact. So it just it makes you think twice and it's, th it, it's uh, intentionally done that way to stick in the mind of the characters. I won't say if I would use it or not use it because I think that's, uh, um, that's basically the question yeah. That we that we portray, race, you yeah. know, and that we raise, and it stays with the with the, the audience.